In the deepest darkness of interstellar space, far beyond the orbit of Pluto, a dying spacecraft has whispered what may be its final words. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object in the universe, has traveled over 24 billion kilometers from Earth, beyond planets, moons, and even the influence of our sun. And now, just when we believed its long journey would end in silence, it has sent a message so strange, so disturbing that it has shocked engineers, scientists, and astronomers around the globe. The signal is no longer structured data. It is a chaotic stream of binary code, zeros and ones repeating endlessly, as if trying to say something we cannot understand. Is it a glitch, a death rattle, or a final revelation? One thing is certain. This is not how Voyager 1 was supposed to say goodbye. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why. As we delve into another mystery surrounding Voyager 1's final message decoded, confirms what we all feared. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was only meant to last five years. It was designed to fly by Jupiter and Saturn, gather data, and then quietly drift into space, forgotten by time. But what happened instead was nothing short of extraordinary. Not only did it complete its mission, but it kept going, through the solar system, past the outer planets, and finally into the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Engineers in the 1970s weren't even told to worry about that phase of the mission, but they did. They built the probe with extraordinary care, using the most advanced tools and technology available at the time, all on a budget of $250 million. They even included a backup spacecraft, Voyager 2, just in case something went wrong. But Voyager 1 didn't fail, it thrived. Powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator using plutonium-238, it continued to send back data for nearly half a century. Its computers, running at just 69 kilobytes of memory, transmitted images, atmospheric readings, and measurements of cosmic rays from the farthest reaches of the solar system. But now, after all this time, that elegant machine is breaking down, and not quietly. At the end of 2023, engineers began noticing strange behavior in Voyager 1's telemetry. It was still transmitting, but the data made no sense. The spacecraft's flight data subsystem, which is responsible for collecting and formatting science and engineering information, had begun sending sequences of binary code that were repetitive, meaningless, and seemingly corrupted. Engineers attempted to reset the system, sending command after command, each one taking 22.5 hours to arrive and another 22.5 to receive a response. But nothing worked. The usual software patches failed. A hard reboot did nothing. Some began to suspect a critical failure in the telemetry modulation unit, the link between Voyager's computers and its transmitter. Without that bridge, we no longer receive scientific data of any kind just a continuous stream of digital noise. Yet when scientists ran this noise through more advanced processors, something bizarre emerged. Patterns, repetition, numbers that shouldn't appear in randomness, like prime sequences and repeating constants. Could it be a last attempt by the spacecraft to organize its thoughts? Or had it encountered something that changed what it became? Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in 2012 when it passed through the heliopause, the invisible boundary where our sun's solar wind no longer dominates space. This region, known as the termination shock or the wall of fire, marks the beginning of the true unknown. Temperatures here can spike to over 50,000 degrees Celsius in some regions. Though the particle density is so low, it wouldn't fry the spacecraft, but still, it changed everything. Beyond this barrier, Voyager became the first human creation to touch the space between the stars. It entered a region filled with cosmic radiation, hydrogen and helium clouds, and gravitational waves, an environment never before sampled. And as it drifted deeper, it kept measuring, until now, until that data stopped making sense. Some speculate the probe may have passed through a region of space that altered its systems or even caused a form of cognitive breakdown in its limited code. Others whisper of more dramatic theories, that it encountered a force, a field, a structure not native to our solar system, something that interfered with its systems, something that sent it into a state of digital madness. Long before this breakdown, 
Voyager 1 made one last act of poetry. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's request, it turned its camera back toward Earth and captured the pale blue dot, an image of our planet from over 6 billion kilometers away, a tiny pixel suspended in a shaft of sunlight. After that photo was taken, Voyager's cameras were turned off forever to save power. The probe continued its mission without sight, relying only on sensors. And yet, even in its blindness, it has shown us more than any other spacecraft in history. Now that mission is ending, not with silence, but with a whisper of incomprehensible code. And maybe that's fitting, because Voyager has always been more than a machine. It has been a mirror of who we were, our technology, our dreams, our flaws, and our hope. And this final transmission, unintelligible as it may be, might be its last message to us. A message that says, I went farther than you ever thought possible. I endured longer than anyone expected. And in the end, I still reached out one last time. As the days passed and the stream of incomprehensible binary continued, researchers began dividing into camps. Some insisted this was nothing more than system decay, a spacecraft in its final incoherent phase, sending out its last electric breaths. But others weren't convinced. Several universities and private labs began running the data through AI-driven pattern recognition software, and the results were unsettling. Recurrent intervals mathematical ratios that mirrored musical harmony and geometric principles. Things Voyager was never programmed to compute, let alone transmit. What truly shocked researchers was that portions of the code appeared to mimic the structure of language, like syntax without words. Scientists from MIT and the European Space Agency admitted that while the signal doesn't follow any known Earth language, it's exhibiting behavior we associate with intentional communication. This wasn't the collapse of a system. It was beginning to look like a message, but not one intended for us, or not in a form we we're ever meant to understand. Every discussion about Voyager ultimately leads to its most iconic artifact, the golden record. This gold-plated copper disc containing sounds, music, and greetings from Earth was never just a gesture. It was a message in a bottle. It held instructions, pulsar maps, and scientific diagrams designed to introduce Earth to any being that might one day find it. But now, with Voyager 1 sending back this inexplicable data burst, a new theory has emerged. What if the message wasn't just sent out, but has now been reflected back? The binary sequences in Voyager's recent transmission show uncanny resemblances to the waveform patterns on the golden record, suggesting perhaps that some force or intelligence received our message and has chosen to reply through the only channel we left behind, the probe itself. Some theorists even argue that the signal's distortion is deliberate, a kind of cipher, one designed to test if we can recognize our own reflection in alien code. A message not meant to teach us, but to measure us. As news of Voyager's final signal spread beyond the scientific community, the world began to react, not just with curiosity, but with something deeper, more primal. Across continents, spiritual leaders and philosophers weighed in. Some declared it a moment of divine connection, a cosmic sign that humanity's voice had finally been heard. Others feared it was a warning, a distant echo of something too vast to understand, too powerful to control. In online communities, the signal became the centerpiece of thousands of theories, decoding attempts, and speculative recreations. Music producers layered the binary into ambient tracks. Artists painted interpretations of the unknown. Governments stayed quiet, issuing no official statements. But satellite listening stations around the world began tuning in with new urgency. Whether signal or glitch, Voyager had reignited the oldest human instinct to find meaning in the unknown. And in that search, humanity found itself connected once more, not just to the stars, but to each other. As Voyager 1's power reserves drop below survivable thresholds, NASA estimates that by the end of 2025, it will fall completely silent. No more signals, no more data, just a lifeless object drifting through interstellar space. But now, with this final transmission echoing across, time and minds 
its legacy has shifted. Voyager is no longer just a probe. It's a witness, a relic of our species' first breath beyond its cradle, a machine that was never supposed to last and yet refused to die quietly, and perhaps a messenger that did more than speak. Perhaps it listened and, in its final act, passed on something we were never meant to find on our own. As scientists race to decode the remaining fragments, a chilling thought persists. What if Voyager wasn't the beginning of a message, but the end of one? A final punctuation at the edge of our understanding, before a new story begins. Voyager 1 was never meant to last. It was never meant to cross the edge of the sun's influence, never meant to outlive its creators, and certainly never meant to send back a message that would challenge the very foundations of what we know. But maybe that's the point. Maybe this isn't just the end of a mission. Maybe this is the start of a conversation we didn't know we were having. A dying machine, armed with less memory than a calculator, sent us a final message. Not with clarity, but with mystery. It didn't speak in words. It didn't paint a picture. Instead, it offered us a reflection of our own curiosity, our own code our own desire to be seen across the void. And whether that message came from Voyager itself, or from something that found it out there, the result is the same. We are not the same civilization we were when Voyager launched. We are smarter, louder, faster. But are we wiser? Are we ready for what may come next? Because as Voyager's light fades, the silence it leaves behind will echo for generations. A silence filled not with nothing, but with possibility. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why adventure. And until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.